When you come to the Bass of Calicala, uh, the entrance fee is 11 euros per person. Uh, they got maps all around this place. This place is huge. It'll probably take you a good hour or two to get through all of this if you look at everything. It's a massive structure. And these things, they're probably one, two, three, they're probably five stories high. It's just insane how big they are. That's a lot of baths. I just imagine how much water had to go into these things.
is a city full of rich history, and one of the most impressive legacies of this ancient empire is the Baths of Caracalla. These sprawling public baths were constructed in the 3rd century AD, and they remain one of the most impressive examples of Roman engineering and architecture. In this video, I will take you on a journey through the fascinating history of the Baths of Caracalla, from their construction to their eventual decline. So put on your imaginary togas and get ready to explore this ancient wonder. The story of the Baths of Caracalla began in 212 AD when they were commissioned by the Roman Emperor Caracalla. The construction took several years and involved a massive workforce of thousands of slaves and laborers. The baths were completed in 216 AD and immediately became one of Rome's most impressive public works.
The complex covered over 30 acres and included a gymnasium, library, gardens, and multiple bathing areas. The baths were open to the public and served as a social center of the city. People from the all walks of life, including citizens, slaves, and foreigners, would come and bathe, relax, and socialize. The baths were also a symbol of Roman power and wealth with stunning mosaics, columns, and sculptures decorating the grounds. Today, visitors can explore the ruins of the Bass and marvel at their grandeur. One of the most impressive features is the Massum Caladarium, or Hot Room, which housed a giant pool heated by underground fires. The floors and walls were covered with elaborate marble patterns, and the room was topped with a massive dome that measured over 100 feet in diameter.
Other notable areas of the complex included the frigidarium, or cold room, which featured a large pool filled with cold water and the netio, or outdoor swimming pool. There was also multiple gyms and courtyards throughout the baths, as well as a library and lecture hall. When you're watching this video, look at the people, and that way you can get a good comparison as to how big this place is, not only height-wise, but just width-wise in all of these different sections. It's insane. And to see all of the flooring, how it used to be done with that mosaic tile, and how so much of it is still around after almost 2,000 years, it is insane. If I could come back into time, I would come back just to the Roman era to see Rome in its finest glory. It's just stunning. Like, I don't even have words for this. It's just insane.
the Baths of Caracalla are a fascinating example of Roman engineering and social life. The impressive size and grandeur of the complex highlights the opulence of the Roman Empire, while the ruins serve as a testament to their engineering expertise. Visiting the Baths of Caracalla is a must-do for any history buff or lover of ancient architecture and is truly an unforgettable experience. is our time here at the bass so it's breathtaking and it's just amazing as i go through the city to see everything that's still standing and to think about what was built without the technology we have today and you look at places that are being built today or 100 years ago and they're all dilapidated we can't even get roads the last like two years and these people are building mosaic tiles on the floor and they're lasting 2,000 years. It's just amazing how they did that. Mm -hmm.